All right, so stone sword is not the greatest to go hunting with, but I did get some bones, so I've got enough that I can work on Batania now. Uh, my sword did break, so, you know, hey, it's cheap. Uh, probably time to replace all of my tools with iron. We've got enough iron, so I think I'll definitely go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and start working on Batania. So I'm going to turn, uh, I don't know, let's say, I guess all of it. We'll just go ahead and turn all of that into bone meal for now. And we will put away all of these things. And let's go get some Batania stuff. So I'm going to want another crafting station. So let me get some wood. Turn that into that. Uh, I've got my shovel. I'm going to have that. I need seeds. There we go. Uh, that and the flowers are pretty much everything I should need to start Batania, I think. All right, so where are we going to do Batania at? Oh, I don't know. No particular place is important. I guess I'm just going to do it right outside the base. Or the hole in the wall. Okay, so got a little area out here. Let's go ahead and get me an infinite water source. Can use my reservoir to fill that. I haven't used one of these before, so, okay. So you press V to change the action. So uh, either you fill it or you empty it. So there we go, our infinite water source. And we'll go ahead and put our crafting station right here. Gonna put my crate right down there behind that. We'll put all these flowers in here and put kind of everything in here for now. Won't use... This won't be this won't be permanent, but okay. So to make endo flames, we need a couple brown petals, a red and a light gray. So there's my light gray. There's the brown, and there's the red. So I want to make a few of these. I need some bone meal. We need to turn them into petals first of all. Okay, so. Then what we can do is we can plant them and use the bone meal and when they grow one, two, one, two, one, two, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can only uh, get these if you use shears and get the tall version of the flowers and those convert to make twice as many petals. So our two petals became eight each. So let's see here. So it'd be four if I wanted four. I think I'd like more than that though. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. Realizing I have very little bone meal, so. Okay, so pretty much out of bone mill now. So, you know, hope I don't need too many more flower types because uh, just use all my bone mill for this stuff, but should be okay. We'll see what happens. All right, so I think we can start out making, uh, let's go with, well, I don't know. Okay, I need some cobblestone too. I'm not carrying any. What did I just do? Don't do that. We need some cobblestone, some cobblestone slabs. Uh, you know what? I need some smooth stone. So let's go ahead and cook up some smooth stone. All right, smooth stone cooking up. So we need a petal apothecary. So I know we need some slabs for that. So yeah, any kind of flower petal. What do we have lots of? 
Nothing. No we have lots of nothing. Okay. Uh, it's fine. We can use red flowers. We have lots of red flowers. Or we have the most red flowers anyway. Okay. Petal Apothecary needs water, uh, which I can fill from the reservoir. Okay, cool. So all I need to do now is put the petals in there and put seeds in there. So that's what I want to do. Where are the rest of my seeds? There they are. Okay. So, uh... You don't want to right click, although it, it works, if you hit uh, grass by mistake, it will plant your flowers. So I always use Q to dump them in. Q, 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 Q. There we go. That will make me. A single one of those flowers. Okay. Oh yeah, press Q. Okay. Right click. Uh, right click empty hand seed water empty hand seed water empty hand seed water empty hand seed rinse repeat yada yada so I've got these I've got these eight endo flame they're gonna generate mana for me just kind of like a power source of a Tanya so uh, next we're gonna need a mana spreader and a mana pool. So for that we need living wood and living rock. So, okay, uh, we need these pure daisies which require, what do they require? Uh, white petals only, I think. Yeah, we need four white petals. I need two of these. So I guess I'm going to use the last of my bone meal to get these. All right, there we go. Tall white flowers. Eight of those. Two, three, four. There we go. We got two of those. Alright, so now we need to plant the pure daisy and get us some smooth stone and some wood. So where's a good place to plant them? I might just do it right over here. Yeah, where's my excavator? Alright. Yeah. Okay. There we go, this kind of area is kind of laid out for my flowers. So let's plant our two flowers right in the middle of those places. And hopefully my smooth stone is done. Yep, I figured it would be. And also going to need some wood. Okay. So, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and stone. Where's my shovel? There we go. So, after about a minute of the wood or stone surrounding a pure daisy, they will transform into living wood and living rock. I would swear it's been a minute by now. There we go. I'm very impatient. Two, three, four, five. Oh my god, what axes are so slow? What everything is so slow? Yeah. Absolute next task is to replace all of my stone tools with iron ones. Okay. In fact, let's go look into that right now. Um, let's take you off. And what do we need to do that? Let me go 
do some math. So a part builder. So I need two iron for the sword, two for the shovel, two for the axe. I already did. So that's six. That's 14, 22, 30. If I had 30 iron in there, that should be enough. Okay, do I have any iron ore? No, I, I, I changed it all out, which is fine. Put my rare earths back up. Okay, so, What we're going to do now is we're going to dump all of this iron in here, or, you know, 27 of it right now. We'll let that heat up, and we will keep working on Batania, and we'll just go back and forth. So, okay, uh, what do I have? 16 of each of these? I should be able to get started with producing mana. So let's go ahead and stick some more stone and wood down. This needs 12 pieces of clay or three clay blocks. I think. I hope. So that will get me the patterns I need to build my stuff. And I want to build a mana spreader, which requires a piece of gold and any kind of petal. I should have a piece of gold right here. That's good. All right, there we go. Mana spreader. I think we'll stick to using red petals for now. All right. Alright, that's our mana spread. Now our mana pool requires those stone things. And we also need a wand of the forest, which requires living wood. And to need three of these twigs. And you put petals around each one. And I'm just gonna go with red, that's fine. I don't really care about the color that much. Okay, so now we will be able to start generating uh, mana. So I need to place down this somewhere. So I'll put my pool right over here. Put the mana spreader right in front of it. And we'll take our wand of the forest. We will right click to select and then we will right click on the pool to bind it. Okay so now the mana spreader will shove over to the pool and we can plant down our eight flowers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That, that works, I think. Okay, so what I need to do now is get some coal or charcoal. Uh, I want eight charcoal blocks if we can get them. There we go. So we'll start off with that and let them eat that. So the Endo Flames are going to take this coal and they are going to eat it and turn it into mana. So there we go. Uh, we're getting mana. If I look at the flowers, you can see that they are all bound and they're all working and sending their mana to the spreader, which sent it to the pool. So that's a good start on that. Okay, so where are we over here with all the material? Okay, you've got the clay box. So we need to make some tool heads. So if we make tool heads, I'm gonna need a broadhead ax. Gonna need a shovel, gonna need a an axe, gonna need a sword, gonna need a hammer, and an excavator. That's all six, right? Seems like it. There are better materials than iron, obviously, but iron's 
pretty easy to get at this stage, so I figured it's a good material to improve on from stone. We'll look into better things to make later on, but for now, this will be good. I can carry iron with me to repair my tools, and they're going to last a lot longer. We can also replace more than just the head. We can replace the, um, you know, the bindings and things too. So we'll eventually have some really good stuff we can put in there. Okay, so that's, what is that? That's my excavator head. Okay, so it does take a while to fill those things and have them harden. So let's go back over to Batania. Okay, so that consumed the cast and it went on. So we can now get a new excavator made of iron. So uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to repair our tools because otherwise it won't be fully repaired for our new tool. So let's go ahead and repair them first. Where's all my cobblestone? Probably over there. Okay, so repair this guy first and then put his new head on. There we go. So he's got a little bit more durability. He doesn't have a lot. We could get him more durability. I'm not sure uh, how much iron I have. So, you know, I'm not going to do that just yet. The head is a good start, and that is where most of the speed is going to be coming from anyway, which is what I'm interested in right now. Okay, so let's see here. Let's repair my sword and repair my hammer. And now I can put my new hammer head on. And let's go get more tools. So here's my sword. That one won't take nearly as long because, you know, it's just a much simpler tool. It's a much smaller tool. It only needs two ingots rather than, you know, eight. Okay, there's the axe. Looks like I mathed right, so that's encouraging. Okay, and there's our last tool. The clay casts were a really nice addition after they got rid of aluminum brass because gold is, is kind of hard to find. So I'm glad they did that. Okay. Where were we? Oh yeah, repairing our tools. Repair that tool and that tool. I think we're good. Okay. So there we go. A new axe. A new sword, a new lumber axe, a new shovel. Yeah, there we go. We have, now we've got half iron tools. So, cool. All right, that will be a big benefit. Oh, sleepy time. Did go through quite a few baguettes fighting with skeletons and zombies. All right, so that looks pretty good. How much more iron do we have? We've got two stacks of iron. Hmm. Maybe I should replace more of my, at least my stone hammer. What's it need? Two more plates? Yeah, I think, I think I'll do that. That'd be 16 more iron. That's not too bad, really. Okay, you're still off. That's what I want. So I'm going to need two more clay casts. That's one block of clay. We could use gold for this. I mean, we're going to need more of these. Hmm. I'm so low on gold right now. I don't think I want to waste the gold. Okay, let's go make two of those. Oh, I need plates. Yeah, we need two of these plates. So I want to make the, what do they call that? Yeah, the large plate pattern. Okay, need two of those guys. Clay takes a while, apparently. Okay, let's see if my new iron axe is better than my stone axe was. I mean, you know, I was, I already had a pickaxe, but, oh yeah, that's faster. I mean, it's not like, you know, crazy fast, but it's fast. 
Okay, so let's get your block of clay. There's one. There's two. And in a minute, we will turn on this as well. Okay. So that's the wrapping up point for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you feel like it, like and subscribe. Or don't, no pressure. See you next time.